Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you've been following our recent videos, you might remember we talked about this really cool AI art generator called Artspace AI. It's got this lifetime deal going on, meaning you can generate unlimited images with just a one-time payment. Pretty sweet, right? But what really makes Artspace AI stand out is the new Flux AI model that's been all the buzz lately. This is what everyone's talking about, and for good reason. Now, I've noticed a lot of you have been asking about how exactly to use Artspace AI, especially since its interface is a bit different from other popular AI image generators. So I thought, why not make a quick video walking you through it? But before we dive into the nuts and bolts of using Artspace AI, let me give you a quick refresher on what Flux AI and Artspace are all about. So Flux AI is this amazing image generator that takes your text prompts and turns them into high quality, photorealistic images. The tech behind it comes from a company called Black Forest Labs, and honestly, they've done an incredible job with it. What makes Flux AI so popular is its ability to nail those tricky details, like human features, which a lot of other AI models struggle with. The best part? It's open source. So whether you're a developer, an artist, or just someone curious about AI-generated art, you can dive in without spending a dime. But there's a bit of a catch. Flux AI isn't available as a standalone product. You have to use this model using a third-party image generator tool, and that's where Artspace AI comes into play. We've been using Artspace for over a year now, and with their recent integration of Flux, we got access to it through my unlimited plan. So I'm here to show you how to make the most of it. I'll drop a link below so you can check out both tools if you haven't already. All right, now let's get into the good stuff how to actually use Artspace AI with the Flux model. I won't go too deep into the basics because we've already covered that in a previous video. Think of this as more of an updated guide. So here's what the inside of Artspace AI looks like. On the main dashboard, you'll see this big empty space in the center and a prompt box below it. The empty space is where your generated image will appear and the prompt box is where the magic happens. You just type in your text prompt there. Now, if you look closely at the canvas, you'll notice this box within it. This is your go-to spot for image generation. Even though the canvas might seem infinite, the real action happens inside this box. And it's not just for generating new images. You can use it for outpainting and inpainting as well, making it super versatile. See those numbers on the box? They show the dimensions of your image. Want a different size? No problem. Just grab the borders and drag to resize. It's that easy. On the top right corner, you'll find the different art models available in Artspace. We're going to stick with the Flux model today. There's also a smart content filter toggle, which allows you to create NSFW, not safe for work, artworks while maintaining ethical boundaries. This lets you explore a wide range of artistic expressions without worrying about restrictions. Then there are the seed number and seed image section. The seed number is a unique numerical identifier which Artspace generates for you whenever you create a new image. This number plays a crucial role. By using the same seed number, you can reproduce the same image consistently. This is especially useful for you if you want to refine your work or explore variations of a particular concept. The Seed Image feature allows users to upload an existing image that the AI will use as a reference or starting point for generating new artwork. At present, the Seed Image feature isn't available in the new Flux model inside Artspace. If you want to use the image as a seed, choose another AI art model from here. By the way, the other models also have a feature called presets. These are predefined configurations or settings that allow users to quickly apply a specific style, theme, or set of parameters to their artwork. You can add the negative prompts here. All right, let's jump into the main action and see how to generate artwork inside Artspace. Okay, let's get into it. See that box right there? Just type in your prompt. Anything you can imagine, like a steampunk airship soaring through the clouds at sunset, or a mystical forest with glowing mushrooms. Once you've got your prompt ready, hit that generate button and boom, your art will appear right in that box on the canvas.
There's also this section called Formula. Here, Artspace has got some pre-made specifications for you. So, if you're feeling a bit unsure or just want a quick start, these art formulas are perfect to kick off your journey. Now let's talk about two of the coolest features inside Artspace, outpainting and inpainting. Inpainting lets you tweak specific parts of an image. Maybe there's something you don't like or you just want to change a small detail. Just mask the area and the AI will fill it in based on the surrounding content and your text prompt. Outpainting, on the other hand, allows you to extend an image beyond its original borders. Just move the art box to the edge of your image and the AI will generate new content to fill in the gaps. You can keep repeating this to create massive, detailed artworks. And then there's the magic feature. Once you've generated an image, you can click on it to unlock a bunch of tools to play around with. These include options like upscale, restore, reimagine, face swap, discover prompt, and remove background. They're all pretty self-explanatory, so I won't go too deep into them right now, but they're there for you to explore and take your artwork to the next level. And there you have it, some of the key features in Artspace AI that will help you create amazing artwork using the new Flux model. I hope this updated overview has given you a better idea of how to navigate the tool and unleash your creativity. Don't forget to check out the lifetime deal from the link in the description. I am sure you are going to love it. The basic unlimited plan starts at $67 that gives you 500 image generations each month. If you want to create unlimited images each month, get the $247 plan. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more tips and tutorials like this. And as always, drop any questions or comments below, I'd love to hear what you think. Catch you in the next video. Happy creating!